Next thing we'll do, we'll go into the grinding of that. Um, usually I start out with a rough grind and I'll use some sort of uh, grinder, usually with a bigger pad. It'll be a pretty aggressive sand paper or sanding disc that I'll have on there. And really what I'm trying to do, um, if this was mild steel, is really knock off that dross, knock off the slag, and uh, kind of sharpen up those edges a little bit. With aluminum, if you've ever ground on aluminum, you'll know this to be true. It also melts and will uh, work its way into that grinding pad or disc, kind of gums it up. So I'm not pushing too hard here, really. I'm just trying to knock down all those high spots. Um, you'll notice the grind marks are also sticking into that stomp pad, which we're going to want to do something ab about that a little bit later. We'll go over it with a DA sander and uh, remove those just to kind of give it more of a matte finish than kind of a grinder finish. But just watch me work around. Um, there's a lot of angles on this, so to get that grinding disc in kind of the appropriate areas, I needed to do some nagling. I don't really have in my shop a very good grinder bench, and so a lot of times, uh, if it's a quick part, I'll just throw it on the floor and grind it so I don't have slag flying around the shop. So that was the back side. The front side is going to be a heck of a lot quicker here. That there's no dross on this side. That really only shows up on the rear side of it. So really I'm just kind of going through and roughing up the surface, taking out any large scratches. This was just some scrap aluminum that I had laying around. There it is. After I'm done grinding, we'll go and uh, finish grind it next. If you got any questions, go to cncinformation.com.